Hey cats and kittens, it's Ed Blaster Bud here with a long run shoe test as requested by the viewers over on the community section of the YouTube channel of the ASICS Nova Blast 2. You asked for it and here it is. I appreciate you tuning in people. It's good of you. If you're enjoying the videos, then please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell below for notifications so we can let you know when the new videos launch. Hit the like and also share the video with your running buddies. It really helps out the channel. Let's get to the bones of it. So a 10 mile or 16.1 kilometer effort today. This is a shoe that I bought with my own cash. No freebies here, these are my honest views as per usual. Keeping the effort almost exclusively in the aerobic zone today. Around about 8 minutes 9 seconds per mile, which is 5 minutes 3 seconds per kilometre. Makes for a 51 mile week, which is 82 kilometres. Happy with that. Lots of speed work on the Thursday and the Friday, so the legs told me. It's got to be a nice steady effort today, Ed. And I delivered. My flexible friends helped me out a little bit as well. I know my limits, guys, and I've done some harder efforts this week. So you've got to know when your body's talking to you, telling you to cut out the speed work and just rack up a few easier miles. Did have a weird blip in the heart rate reading at some point. You can see there it launched up to about 164 beats a minute. It certainly wasn't moving at that sort of effort, guys. I don't know whether some sweat perhaps had got under the sensor. Across around 132 beats per minute average heart rate. So it makes for about an hour and 20 minutes of good moderate effort. Quite proud of the grade assisted pace there of eight minutes per mile as I cranked up the effort on the last very taxing 230 foot climb. That last mile was a real killer. Hey, cats and kittens. Out on the long run. On the Sunday. Gotta be the Sunday. About a mile in. Headed out on the country lanes. Nice and quiet. It's just me and the birds out here. Haven't seen a car yet. The air is fresh. And it feels a little bit like a scene out of the birds. I think I'm on their turf. Keeping it around about eight minutes a mile. I think that's just about all I've got. So that's gonna have to do. Here's the Nova Blast 2. The viewers requested it. So that's what we got. It's just basically like this. For miles and miles. And it's quite wonderful. Keeping it nice and steady. It's pretty humid. And it's windy. And it's the summer. This is how it is over here. It bakes us for a few weeks and then it gives us this stuff and then it just gets cold again and we like it there's just a long relatively straight section just with these trees and occasionally you get some birds of prey along here I don't know exactly which ones I'm not a aficionado maybe a hawk or something I don't know I don't think that's an albatross or an eagle. So a couple of miles in, over blast two. I know what I'm gonna get from these. Nice cushion, a little bit of pop and bounce. Not as much if I was going at a faster speed, but at this kind of sustainable pace. Yeah, you know what you're gonna get from them. Trampoline-like bounce. And they don't feel all that heavy, really. Fit is on point. Be interesting towards the end. If I still feel that the length is right, considering I've gone down half size, but I think it'll be fine. Really enjoying them. Really glad I picked them up. A quaint little place called Ashington. Very quiet. Aside from the wind, I still have yet to see a car. I have seen people exercising. There's one chap out running. Looked like he was going a long way. And a lady doing some walking. But that is about it. Holy mackerel, that is a lot of cows. I don't think I've ever seen quite so many in one field. They're all having a lovely time. Yeah, three miles as smooth as silk. <laughs> Actually, running on these reminds me a little bit of a job I've got to do later. I did promise Miss Said Bud he would upgrade the mattress and get a new one. And these do feel a little bit like you're running on a mattress. I've got to remember to do that or I am in hot water. Just felt myself easing off the pace a little bit. So gonna just turn things up a notch or two. Still well within like a 
aerobic sort of zone, so we're fine. So my gamble's paid off a little bit. There's lots of very high hedgerows along this route and they are proving useful in stopping the wind. So I've um, got a little less wind resistance and uh, I knew that was going to be a problem today. It's been windy all week. So about four and a half miles in, really, really nice out here. Beautiful peace and quiet. Nova Blast 2 hit on the spot. Car count of only five, which is amazing. Three horses, zero squirrels. Not sure where this goes. I'm just going to follow it a little bit and see what happens. I do feel a little bit like I'm in an episode of War of the Worlds, where it's just me left. So if anybody finds this log, you know, I enjoyed running. I really like midsole foam. Yeah, I'm quite partial to a good outsole. And I like pizza. Said bud, 2021. This place looks nice. If they were open, I would pop in the Lamb and Lark Freehouse. You can pretty much just run in the middle of the road here. Six cars now and one tractor in 51 minutes. That's not bad. Just coming up on six and a half miles. Three and a half to go, I'll knock it on the head of 10. Done a lot of speed stuff this week. And I know my limits. I know my limitations. I know when to stop. It's really important. Some people don't. And they just get injured. I'm more about longevity. Always, even in music. I've always wanted to use in-ears rather than monitors to reduce the stage volume. And that's certainly been beneficial for me now. So that's eight miles in, a couple of miles to go. I'm hungry. As usual about this point, I'm kind of wishing I was wearing a slightly firmer shoe. Just think it helps my form. Nova Blast could not be described as being firm, I don't think. But it's doing well absorbing the impact. And that's what I wanted for today. Lots of downhill until uh, there's a very steep incline in a moment. And I've got to be honest, my left leg, my knee, really doesn't like these slopes going downhill. It's caused me a bit of bother, having to increase the cadence a lot. Uh, yeah, left knee's not enjoying past about eight miles in the Nova Blast. It doesn't like it on the slopes. Going uphill's fine, which is what I've got to do now for about half a mile. Let's go. Oh, that steep slope is a real killer. Made it though. I didn't run all the way up it. I just didn't have it in me today. But it is nice when you get to the top because you got another one. Let's go. So 10 miles done and dusted. Bit of a windy, humid day. Glad to get them in the bag. 50 miles for the week. It's good. Apart from towards the end there. A really good workout on the country roads there. I really enjoyed myself. Nice and peaceful. I think there was about seven cars I encountered. Only about two or three people out walking. Really nice and chilled out. Good for the peace of mind. But how did the shoes hold up? Let's get into it. Zero worries in the upper here today in the Nova Blast 2. I went with the option of a thinner Nike Spark sock today, just one of those ankle type socks. And going down half a size in the Nova Blast 2 has improved things drastically. The first one ran very long and I found that the Nova Blast 2 is practically the same. You do need to look at sizing very carefully with this ASIC shoe. Still roomy but a far better lockdown across the top of the foot and you don't have this gargantuan amount of room in the toe box. Quite a windy day out there with quite humid conditions. Shoe left the foot feeling nice and consistent in terms of temperature. Never got too hot, certainly wasn't sweating out there, not in my shoe anyway. No rubbing or soreness from the upper materials in any way. The lace is by far an improvement over the first version of the shoe. These have a little bit more give to them and they're a little bit wider. I found that they stayed put in a consistent fashion over the course of the run. No cutting off of the circulation over the top of the foot, tongue works really well here. Midsole wise, the flight foam blast material. It's a cushioned customer and forgiving, but I do stand by my previous statements that I made about the Nova Blast 1. They're the same for this shoe. Absolutely brilliant if you've got good running form, perhaps earlier in a run. As the run progresses and perhaps your form begins to loosen up a little bit, I just find this stuff far too compressive 
and unstable. It was good up to about eight miles. I had some real troubles with it around about mile nine. There's some downhill sections there and my left knee really did not like the flight foam blast material. It's caused me some pain in the knee, it just came out of nowhere. Absolutely fine when I'm on some level ground or going uphill and if I'm going at a faster pace as well. It's just when I drop the pace back a little bit, that's where I found the pain. Perhaps a bit of a lack of support and I think the Nova Blast compressive and very sprightly type material that's a bit of a two-edged sword really there's nothing in the shoe other than the foam to give it any sort of stability there and i just pined for a bit more rigidity something a little bit firmer underfoot where i was going on those downhill sections it's kind of the reverse going up hills really it feels springy and it feels nimble there's a bit of a propulsive feeling there and quite forgiving just a jelly-like unstable wobble when you're going downhill. Good rolling pace on the flatlands though. That can't be denied. I just think it's a shoe I'll probably avoid using if I'm going on any considerable downhill sections. I think for those I'll stick firmly with a more responsive, stable shoe in the future. Though it's always a treat to test things out, isn't it? You gotta give things a go. Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. Wanna make it clear today though that I did enjoy the run. It was just that end section. Really did come out of nowhere. Outsole torque and the ASICS high abrasion rubber did the trick. Gave a good account of itself today, mainly on dry country roads. Very little moisture out there, a few puddles here and there, a couple of mud patches, but, but it was just par for the course for this outsole material. I am noticing more though that the peeling is occurring. There's actually quite a bit of degradation to the outsole here. It's wearing down right up here in the uh, forefoot. Good grip up the hills when cadence was quicker and no sign of any slipping. I did avoid light gravel areas though. I've noticed that the very edge of the rubber portions here where it meets the foam is a bit of a vacuum for grit and dirt. Just seems to suck it up there like a Dyson. I think for me the compressive cushion of the flight foam blast material here in the A6 Nova Blast 2 was always going to be a bit of a problem on this type of run. That's why I wanted to test it. You know me guys, I always have that preference for the slightly lower stack, firmer, perhaps more responsive shoes. That more predictable midsole feel. I think this material without a carbon plate or a nylon plate inserted, and with all that material here cut out of the midsole on the outsole, does that make sense? Doesn't really help the stability all that much, so for me it's going to be a shorter range shoe and I'll leave it on the shelf when looking for a long run option. I do place the Nova Blast 2 really into the same category as the Invincible run. There's perhaps a little bit more return from that one. Here the stuff's just so springy and squashy I suppose, just not refined enough in the midsole material for me for a long run shoe. I'd say perhaps ideal for me is about eight or so miles in this one in the future. Though of course, if you're running much faster miles in the shoe, I think you'd probably not find it quite so unstable. I think that might extend the range of the shoe somewhat for you. But few people are gonna be doing that. Most people are running long runs at much slower paces on a regular basis anyway. Some people might do a threshold run on 10 miles or something, perhaps higher. So just some thoughts to bear in mind, guys. So next time up, I'm thinking maybe the Streak 7 from Nike or even the Deviate Nitro from Puma for the long run. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. How have you found the Nova Blast 1 or 2? Do you concur with my views? Let me know your experiences and your thoughts down in the comments. A quick musical interlude for you. One of my favourite guitar-based albums ever has to be People Move On by Bernard Butler. The guy's an absolute gem on guitar any type of guitar style where it's finger picked acoustic tunes through to raucous, loud and fuzzy guitar solos. His album from 1998, People Move On, is a real hidden gem. Go and check it out guys, you won't be disappointed. It starts off with this beautiful, almost albatross like woman I know. The lead line in that is just so creamy and beautiful. It's probably played on his 355 Gibson, it just sounds luxurious like a very expensive bar of chocolate coupled with a nice hot freshly made cup of coffee. Following that up is a gritty exciting and over the top tune called You Just Know. This is just pure fun. Lots of overdriven guitars, fantastic memorable solos. It sort of sounds like a steam train that's slowly picking up speed and going out of control. People move on, the third track is beautiful. 12 string acoustic guitar there. Wonderful, luscious, magical vibes on this album. Change of Heart, track four. Fantastic, country rock stuff, can't lose. Two acoustic tracks that kind of would have ended each side of the album, I suppose. Uh, I'm Tired 
and also you light the fire. Bernard Butler is just a genius on those. I absolutely love his finger picking style. I wish he'd do some more tracks. I wish he'd do another album of his songs. I think people would buy it. One of his best tracks, Not Alone, is a sort of call to arms really, where he's laying out all these sort of bad feelings, talking about how he's in this situation, he's not alone anymore. He doesn't need his electric guitar in his hands to express you know who he is this one's an absolute cracker one of my favorite albums of all time go and check it out people move on by bernard butler okay thanks for sticking with me to the end of today's video guys it is always appreciated remember to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell below for notifications when we launch the new videos for you and help the channel out by giving this video a thumbs up like and also sharing it with your running buddies my name's ed bud and i'll be seeing you